Good morning everyone. I think I'm going to do Vlogmas. I'm not going to vlog every day. Um, I'm going to vlog the Christmassy things that we do as a family and today I think I'm going to get the Christmas tree. I've already bought a Christmas candle and I've had it lit um, but it doesn't really kind of smell that strong when it's lit and I can't find the matches at the moment but when you smell it like that it's smells really, really Christmassy, kind of cloves and that sort of thing. So I think I'll get a few more of those Christmassy smelling candles as well. And then usually what we do is we move this little table that's in the corner out of the way and uh, we pull that chair forward a bit and put the Christmas tree in there. And then gradually as presents turn up or whatever, or on Christmas Eve, we put the presents under the tree. And we usually get a real tree and it adds to the Christmassy smells as well. Something else that we do in the UK is we have advent calendars and uh, advent calendars with chocolate in them as opposed to just little pictures has become very popular. And I got Darcy this divine chocolate advent calendar. And I've noticed because the little doors stick out that it's got like the Christmas story. Well, I've got my Christmas tree. I've got quite a nice tree from Waitrose. I've got all the Christmas decorations out that were in the cupboard under the stairs. And uh, we used to have kind of like a bucket thing that you could put the tree in and water it. Um, but I've had this stand for a long time. Um, and you've just got to trim the bottom of the tree to fit in the stand. So I'm probably using the wrong tools, but I've got an old uh, serrated knife and it's quite soft actually. I think I've just about cut enough off to fit in there. Well, I think I've succeeded in fitting it into the stand. The stand's a little bit bent, so I don't know if Ben can fix that. Right, so I've moved that table now and I'm going to take the cover off the tree and then put the lights on. very lush looking green but um, dropping lots of needles. <laughs> Let's see what it looks like the light off. How oh, pretty! And then I still get to get all the tinsel and baubles and things on. I think it's time to do a little bit more Christmas preparation and I have bought a new tablecloth. So at the moment we've got this very spring-like tablecloth and I've got this one that's got a nice kind of gingham heart patterns on it. Well, I think that's an improvement. <laughs> And also what I'm going to do is I'm going to decorate the mantelpiece a little bit more. It's got all Ben's birthday cards on there just now. Um, so Christmas cards have started to arrive, so they'll come down in a second. And a few years ago, I made this um, bit of cloth thing I'll show you. It's this really nice kind of silky thing and I sewed these like pointy bits. So I'll put that on the mantelpiece in a moment and then you'll see how that, how that works.
Everything's looking very festive now. And the Christmas cards are beginning to trickle in. And I've even got the little Christmassy bear. I've turned the lights down, so I think it's going to look a bit dim. It's a little Christmassy bear. And then this is this fabric. I don't know what you call these. Like a mantle, mantelpiece cover or something. I don't know. going to do another Christmassy activity and I'm going to wrap some presents that have got to go in a parcel to go abroad and you know who you are the recipient of this parcel I've already um, received a parcel from somebody and this wasn't supposed to be a Christmassy thing um, but as it's come around to that time of year because life has got in the way um, I will combine it with showing you how I normally wrap up Christmas presents or try to make them nice and decorative. Because this parcel is going abroad, I wanted to choose um, lighter paper so that I can get as many presents in the parcel as possible without the wrapping taking up the weight. And initially, when I was in Waitrose, I thought, well, I could use napkins. And I've got some really nice napkins here. They're like gold with white stars. But then when I turned the corner, I found some packets of um, tissue wrap, all in Christmassy design. So I'm like, really happy about that because it's proper wrapping paper and it means I've got some serviettes that I can use for dinner. Um, I've also got some Scotch Magic tape. So when you use this tape, it barely shows at all when you're sticking things together. I'm not that good at wrapping actually, so I need all the help I can get. And also in Waitrose, Waitrose is my local kind of grocery food shop place, but there's all sorts of other goodies in there as well. Um, I've got some, it's not string, I don't know what you call it, what do you call it? <laughs> so it's accessories, kind of ribbon, I guess, uh, present wrapping ribbon. And there's these little rosettes, but I'm not sure I'll put them on this parcel. I'm going to do some fancy things with the ribbon. So, let's start. It's <laughs> so rubbish at wrapping things. <laughs> anyway, now I'm going to use this ribbon. I think I'm just going to wrap it around the top. I'm going to leave this bit here so that it goes nice and curly. Now that does look quite curly but a trick I learnt when I was really young is that if you get the scissors and you put the ribbon on there and then run it across the blade that should make the curl even tighter and get it right to the end. So I've wrapped everything and now I'm going to take it down the post office, I'm going to take some more uh, bubble wrap, um, I'm going to get them to weigh it first just to check that it's not overweight or anything, I don't know what the weight limits are, so before I seal it all up I'll go down the post office first. <laughs>
very Christmassy tip for you and um, this is something I learned quite a few years ago from an American friend who was doing a workshop for Christmas decorations and cards and that sort of thing and it's making garlands out of cranberries and popcorn. Do you like my popcorn bowl? <laughs> I'm going to just use some normal sewing thread. I think probably you should use thicker um, cotton than this um, but I'm just going to double it up. So I've used up nearly all the cranberries and there's a bit of popcorn left for me to have a snack. but it's a bit windy so I don't know what the sound quality is going to be like noisy cars <laughs> I am on my way down to the village to buy some A4 paper because we've run out to print my Christmas family newsletters and also to buy some stamps and for the last couple of hours I've been writing Christmas cards so I'm finally after a four year gap <laughs> sending Christmas cards. It's such a good way of keeping connected with friends, long-standing friends, so I'm really glad that I've got around to it. So I'm just finishing up now, um, putting the letters that I've printed onto the paper I bought um, and I'm popping them into the envelope. So yeah, I've got um, just finished folding up these letters, a picture of us at Ben's nephew's wedding and just a sort of family update and I took a shot earlier of the High Street in Cobham and I also managed to get some cards. So I bought these cards the other day and that's why I took that shot of the High Street. Obviously this is supposed to be in the snow and the dark. <laughs> Yeah, I've got these other cards that are from Cobham as well and I think I showed this building in a vlog and it showed the date that it was built. I'll put a link to the vlog here. Nearly 600, nearly 600 years old. So there we go, I've got all the stamps on now and all the letters put in with the cards but I don't know Ben's mum's address so I've got to try and text somebody and find that because she's moved recently so I don't know what her new address is. Competitive dad. Mm. But Adam was only 20 points behind yeah, with 138. Right. And, I had, and I had one go less as well.
So it's Boxing Day, I didn't really vlog Christmas Day, Darcy's done some beautiful photographs there. But finally got around to making a gingerbread house and Hilary's helping me. And what we're doing is we've made a really good gingerbread mixture and we've rolled it out now. And uh, we're cutting out the windows and we're going to make them stained glass windows by putting boiled sweets onto the baking parchment. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>